Welcome to our latest video, where we dive into the dark and intriguing world of crime. Today, we're taking a closer look at the top 10 criminals from the state of South Carolina. From notorious gangsters to infamous serial killers, this list showcases some of the most notorious individuals to ever call the Palmetto State their home. Whether you're a history buff, true crime enthusiast, or just looking to broaden your knowledge, this video is for you. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn about some of the most dangerous individuals from South Carolina. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about our amazing upcoming informative videos. Now sit back, relax and let's go. At number 10 we have Vincent Filia. Filia is a former South Carolina man who gained notoriety for his criminal activities in the mid-2000s. In 2006, he was charged with kidnapping and repeatedly raping a 14-year-old girl who he held captive in a homemade bunker for 10 days. He was eventually caught and sentenced to 421 years in prison without the possibility of parole. Filia's case attracted national attention and was widely covered by media outlets, with some describing him as a modern-day boogeyman. He was known for his violent and erratic behavior as well as his extensive history of prior criminal activities. Despite his lengthy sentence, Filia continues to make headlines for his behavior while in prison, including several escape attempts. Number 9. Gerald Mason Mason is a South Carolina man who made headlines for his involvement in a high-profile murder case. In the early 1990s, Mason was convicted of killing a local business owner in a robbery gone wrong. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. However, in recent years, Mason has garnered attention for his efforts to have his sentence commuted on the grounds of innocence. He has maintained his innocence from the beginning and claims that he was wrongly convicted based on circumstantial evidence. Mason's case has become a cause celebre among certain groups who believe in prison reform and the fight against wrongful convictions. Number 8. Velma Barfield he was a serial killer from South Carolina who was active in the 1970s. She was convicted of poisoning several of her loved ones, including her mother, her boyfriend, and her fiancé, in order to collect life insurance money. She was known for her quiet demeanor and her ability to manipulate those around her, which made her crimes all the more shocking. Barfield was the first woman to be executed in the United States after the reinstatement of the death penalty in 1976. Her case drew significant media attention and sparked debates about the use of the death penalty, especially in cases involving women. Today, Velma Barfield remains one of the most infamous female serial killers in American history. Number 7. Monroe Hickson Monroe Hickson was a notorious bank robber from South Carolina who gained notoriety in the late 1960s and early 1970s for his daring and violent crimes. He was known for his daring heists and his willingness to use violence, which made him one of the most feared criminals in the state. Hickson was eventually caught and sentenced to life in prison, where he became known for his violent behavior and numerous escape attempts. Despite his reputation as a hardened criminal, Hickson maintained his innocence throughout his life, and many people believe that he was the victim of a miscarriage of justice. His case remains one of the most controversial in South Carolina's criminal history, and his legacy continues to be debated to this day. Number 6. Dylan Roof Dylan Roof is a former resident of South Carolina who gained infamy for his role in a mass shooting in Charleston in 2015. On June 17 of that year, Roof entered the historic Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church and opened fire, killing nine African American worshippers. The shooting was widely condemned as a racially motivated hate crime, and Roof was subsequently arrested and charged with multiple counts of murder. He was found guilty and sentenced to death in 2016. Roof's case drew national attention and sparked debates about racial tensions and the availability of firearms in the United States. He remains one of the most notorious mass shooters in American history and his actions continue to be studied as an example of hate-fueled violence. At number 5 we have Tiffany Cole. He is a former South Carolina resident who was involved in a high-profile murder case in the early 2000s. Cole was convicted of participating in a plot to kill a wealthy Florida couple in order to collect their life insurance money. 
she was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. During her trial, Cole was described as a manipulative and cunning individual who used her charm and beauty to get what she wanted. Her case attracted significant media attention and was widely covered by news outlets. Today, Cole remains behind bars, serving her life sentence for her role in the gruesome murders. Number 4, Ellsworth Raymond Johnson. He is better known as Bumpy Johnson, was a notorious American gangster who operated in Harlem, New York City during the mid-20th century. He was born in Charleston, South Carolina in 1905. Johnson gained his nickname Bumpy due to a bump on his forehead and was known for his involvement in organized crime, including bootlegging and gambling. He was a close associate of infamous crime boss, Lucky Luciano, and his criminal empire was the subject of several police investigations. Johnson died in 1968, but his legacy as one of the most powerful and charismatic black gangsters in American history continues to this day. Number 3, Walter Scott. Scott was a South Carolina resident who was shot and killed by a North Charleston police officer in 2015. The shooting was captured on video and sparked nationwide outrage, as it appeared to show the officer shooting Scott multiple times in the back as he ran away. The incident was widely seen as an example of police brutality and sparked widespread protests and calls for reform. Scott's death was a major turning point in the ongoing national conversation about police violence and the use of force against black Americans. His case also prompted changes in South Carolina's laws and police policies, including the introduction of body cameras for police officers. Today, Walter Scott's death remains one of the most high-profile and widely discussed incidents of police violence in recent American history. Number 2, Richard Evenitz. Richard Evenitz was a South Carolina resident who gained notoriety as a serial rapist and killer in the late 1990s. He was believed to have committed multiple sexual assaults and murders in Virginia, Maryland, and South Carolina, and was one of the most wanted fugitives in the United States at the time of his capture. Evenitz was eventually caught in 2002 and was sentenced to multiple life sentences for his crimes. He committed suicide in prison the following year. Even its case drew significant media attention and sparked debates about the effectiveness of law enforcement efforts to track down and apprehend serial criminals. Today, he remains one of the most notorious serial killers in recent American history and his legacy continues to be studied by criminologists and law enforcement officials. And at number one we have Todd Kohlhepp. Kohlhepp was a South Carolina resident who gained notoriety as a serial killer and rapist in the early 2000s. He was arrested in 2016 after a woman was found chained in a shipping container on his property. Further investigation revealed that Kolhep had committed multiple murders, including a mass shooting at a motorcycle shop that left seven people dead. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Kolhep's case drew widespread media attention and was widely covered by news outlets. He was described as a highly intelligent individual who used his cunning and charm to hide his criminal activities. Today, Kolhep remains behind bars, serving his life sentence for his crimes. And that brings us to the end of our Top 10 Criminals from South Carolina video. We hope you enjoyed this journey through the state's dark criminal history and learned something new along the way. From the notorious Bumpy Johnson to the cunning serial killer, Donald Henry Gaskins, these individuals have left an indelible mark on the state's criminal history. Remember, this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only and does not condone or glorify criminal behavior. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.